Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Kronecker by Icegear. Kronecker is very different from many other types of synthesizers in that it's got a sequencing type of um, playing style thing making the sound. Ah. So what I want to do is to go through the synthesizer kind of like I did in the past with my Hack Attack episodes, just breaking it apart for you, showing what's actually going on inside the synthesizer. By the way, I've learned some Japanese and so I've named some of my patches with Japanese phrases. Watashi wa hentai de wa nai. I think that means I'm not a car. Subete no hentai sha wa nakunatta. I think that means all the cars are gone. Anata wa hentai desu ka. I read that somewhere. I don't know what that means. So maybe my Japanese viewers can tell I have no idea what it means. Okay, so let's get into this. So Kronecker is a mix of various types of synthesis methods. What we've got here is a particle generator, and this is actually the um, oscillator. But it's not just an oscillator, it's an FM operator. So this is actually FM synthesis right here. Apart from the FM operator, we've also got a noise generator. Further down, we have the emitter, and the emitter contains subtractive synthesis because it's got a filter. That's not something something you would normally find inside an FM synthesizer. Worth noting is that we also have four pages here. And so each of these pages contain their own copy of a particle generator, white noise generator, and an emitter. Now, when the sound has come out from the particle generator, it goes through the emitter, where it's being controlled by an envelope. And the envelope is directly tied to a sequencer here called particle trigger. And I'll show you a little bit more about this really soon. By the way, the trigger speed has its own setting when it comes to the triggering of the notes. So you set all of that down here by choosing the uh, timing and then you have various controls to use for that. Next under the emitter, we also have a resonator and we are able to send the sound through two resonators. So there's A and there's B and you can have different settings in each of the resonators. And resonators synthesis is actually based upon something called car plus strong synthesis. It's kind of the same type of synthesis being used inside string synthesis. Only this is an effect module. And so you send the sound through the resonator using this switch over here. Next, we have a delay. And to actually edit the delay, we have to open the delay up by pressing edit. And so the first thing we're going to do is to initialize a patch because that's the simplest way of actually finding out what a synthesizer does. So we're gonna go into the preset list and we're gonna press new right there. As you can hear, it sounds like we've got a delay going on here, but we actually don't. Nope, that's the particle triggering sequencer right here. By the way, can I remove this? This is kind of, oh, you can slide it down there. Yeah, let's, let's just put it over there. So if I remove triggers, it still sounds like we've got a delay in here. Now, listen what happens when I pull down on the release. And if I fill in all these notes and pull up the sustain, And listen what happens when I change the timing. Okay, some of you might... Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Is there no way to turn off the sequencer inside Kronecker here? And the answer to that is yes. Kronecker is utilizing two modes. One called envelope and the other one called gate. If you keep this switch in envelope mode. You're gonna control the particle with the particle triggering here, the sequencer. But if we then switch it over to gate, 
Now we've actually got a normal synthesizer envelope here. And so, if you want to make normal sounds with a normal envelope generator inside Chronicer, just make sure that you've got this switch switched over to gate. And then it will function like a normal envelope generator as it does in any other synthesizer. The cool thing with this is you can mix it up since you have four pages of these and you turn the emitter and particle generators off in each page with these switches right here meaning you could make a normal pad sound in one generator and then go over to another generator, turn that on and have that being triggered by the uh, envelope particle trigger thing sequence here. Yes, I know the sounds I'm making are quite rudimentary, but you can make some complex stuff. And that's what you heard in the beginning there. Basically just a sequence of four instances of Kroniker playing patches that I made from scratch. The synthesizer can be quite, quite deep when you work it out. And there are a lot of dials here. But if you look at the uh, lines in between them, you can see how each of the modules are connected. Now Kroniker has various types of modulation sources. Why not have a look at that? Yeah! So remember I said this was FM synthesis? Well, you're gonna hear it as soon as I start tweaking these knobs here. The ratio cannot be modulated, but you can modulate the depth, for instance, with either an envelope, which you control over here, it's an AD envelope, meaning it's got attack and decay, or an LFO down here, where you can control the rate and the type of waveform. So let's just have a quick look at the emitter. The emitter will let you pitch your sound. And again, you have envelopes and LFOs that you can tie to these functions. So let's just increase the envelope here. Now the same type of modulation can also be used for the uh, filter in here. Next we can route the signal from the emitter into the resonator. So let's route it to resonator A. And once again, the basic modulation abilities you have over here inside the particle generator and over here in the emitter, you can also find that inside the resonator and it works the same way as the other two. And this is something I really like with the iSkier apps. Satoshi always makes sure to tie each of the modulating elements directly to each of the knobs in this manner. OK, 
Okay, so before I forget, I just want to tell you about the... Now, before I forget, let's just demo all the different types of noise inside Kronecker. Okay, so let me just demonstrate the uh, delay here really quickly. Here we've got an initialized sound. And all we need to do to send it to the uh, delay is to turn up this dial here. I'll turn it up almost full. And now let's enter the delay. And one thing that I do love a lot with Satoshi's apps is that he always puts in this uh, filter with a distortion or a drive module in there. So it's possible to make the delay tail sound very gritty. There's just a few more things I want to mention, and that's this little box down here. Here we can find the control for the main volume output, a switch for turning the arpeggiator on, and you can find the arpeggiator up here. If you tap these notes here, then the arpeggiator window will pop up. Now, if we go back to this little box, we can also find control for the polyphony and also a hold setting for the keyboard. Now, there's actually more hidden features in here. All you have to do is to tap right there and it will open up. And here we can find settings tied to the keyboard itself, like transpose controls and controls for the glide and pitch bend. That's pretty much what you need to know to get started with Chronicer. Now, I absolutely love Chronicer. I do recommend it. I'll put an app link down below in the description where you can go check it out for yourself. Now, I know I haven't played a lot of the demo sounds in here. So if you want to hear more patches, then I do recommend you go over to the sound test room and check out Doug Woods' video on Chronicer. I'll put a link down in the description for that too. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to help securing the future for this channel, then I've got a Patreon there, PayPal up there, I and mean, if you don't want to do either of those things then you can always go check out my music on Bandcamp maybe you want to buy one of my tracks if you like them if you don't want to do any of that then why not uh, press the thumbs up because that really helps with the ratings around here on YouTube um, and also if you subscribe uh, oh yeah share the videos if you if you yeah, share the videos it's kind of if you if uh, I don't even know where I was going that now press the thumbs up I, I don't even know where I'm going yeah so if you subscribe then why not press in that little bell thing because it's really the only way you'll ever get notified whenever I upload a new video thank you so much for watching all comments and ratings are very much appreciated as usual I wish you a very productive week now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it so if you subscribe then why not press in that little bell thing because it's really the only way you'll ever get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.